So over here you can see that I have a video track and an audio track uh, right here. So if you want to work around with multiple video tracks, so if you want to, let's say, for example, superimpose one video to other, then you can work around with multiple video tracks. And if you want to add in, let's say, for example, multiple audios, then you can work around with multiple audio tracks as well. So to do that, I'm going to go around over here. So you can see that this is the timeline that I have. And if I were to go around right over here, I can pull the timeline up so that we have more space. So in order to add in more audio tracks, we can go around, right click, and then over here, you can see that I can go around and go to track operations and click on add audio track right here. Similarly, I can go around add video track over here as well. And I can go around on and add video track right here just like this. And you can see that I got multiple video tracks now. So if I were to go around over here, right click, go to track operations and click on add audio track, then you can see that now I have multiple video tracks and audio tracks right here. I can go around and now uh, keep the videos on the top right here just like this and overlap out the videos as well. So if your video were to like, um, let's say for example, um, be transparent or something, you can now see the layers beneath over here. It also is helpful when you want to add logos on top of videos as well. So here you can see that I have an audio, but if I want, I can go around and keep multiple audios over here as well. So here you can see multiple audios over here, and that is how it can actually help you to uh, manage out uh, with different uh, audio, uh, audio clips and video clips together by using multiple uh, tracks right here. And by default, you can see that the tracks are named as video B1, B2, and B3. So you can go around and name out the tracks according to how you like over here as well. You can name out the audio tracks and video tracks over here according to how you like. And on the audio and video tracks, you can uh, see that for audio, you can mute out the audio tracks right here and change the visibility of certain video tracks over here as well. So that is how you can add in multiple audio and video tracks inside of Shortcut. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.